Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Izam. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint a pear in watercolor. I'm using Tire Sweet Sketches Pro app on my iPad Pro. You can be using any kinds of iPad as long as you can run Tire Sweet Sketches Pro on your machine. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. We're going to paint a pear now. So, let's open up um, Tire Sweet Sketches Pro and let's set up a new canvas. So again, I hope you remember, we are always going to choose the watercolor brush, the second brush. And here is our layer. And I'm going to press and hold to bring up all these settings, okay? So I'm going to have the settings to the maximum opacity, and then the brush size is about 55. So as you know, a pear is a, it's a fat bottom kind of uh, fruit. So we have to change the color to light green. We'll start off with light green, which is like maybe this kind of green. Oh, I think this kind of green, this kind of green will look good. All right, let's start painting. So we start off like that. Okay, just remember, keep in mind that it's a fat bottom. That like a teardrop. It doesn't have to be exactly like a teardrop, but just remember that it has a fat bottom and we're done. So I'm just going to let it dry. So the next thing that we need to do is let's mix up some yellow color in there. All right. Again, I'm going to tell you that the direction of the light, let's place the light uh, here, striking it down over here. So let's choose yellow. We're going to set the opacity to about 70 and then we're going to paint over here. It's very subtle, so I don't think you can actually see the yellow, but it's fine. Okay, and then take out your water brush and then just pull it out like that and let it dry. Let's see it. Okay. It's very, very faint, but it's fine. Now let's move on to the second brush. And um, this time around, we're gonna have the shadow, okay? Because the light is coming from here, so it's gonna cast a shadow around here. So for the shadow, let's have a dark green. I think I'm gonna have a much darker green than this, so I'm gonna pull it down. What I did there was I press and hold and then this option will bring up. I can now change the color. To do this, I need to add and there it is, all right? But for this, to play safe, I'm putting the opacity to about 70. And let's begin. Okay, wait. So to prevent any mistakes, have a new layer, all right? So we are drawing on a new layer, let's press and like that, okay. Now there are some gaps around here, we're going to let the water brush handle that. So remember for the water brush, we set the opacity right down to 0 or 1 and let the brush size be around here and let's just drag the color. Let's just pull that dark color out like that. Okay, and that is done. We're gonna have it a bit darker over here. So change the brush to the watercolor brush and then make sure your opacity is like this. 55 and let's begin. And I'm gonna maybe paint over here a little bit, get a water brush, and just pull it, pull the color out, make it somewhat even, okay, and dry. So the next thing that we're gonna do is have the reflection, okay? But I think we'll set the reflection later. We are going to draw the stalk of a pear. 
So for this, let's have a new layer and let's have the brush again and this time set the opacity to 100 and let's begin by changing the color to a brown color we're gonna need a much darker brown than this okay so tap and hold and then bring it down like that and tap add so now just drag it down just press lightly if yours is a bit too big just make the brush size smaller okay just make the brush size smaller and keep adding more paint just tap and let it dry okay so that's it so for this I'm going to add some shadows down here so for that I'm going to have a dark color maybe a much darker brown than this so press and hold drag it down and tap add so now I'm just to be safe I'm just gonna lower the opacity to about 80 and then I'm just gonna paint over here all right and as well as over here then use my water brush well, the water brush is here and set the size of the water brush lower and just just slowly drag it away okay like that and we are almost done the next thing that we're gonna do is have some texture have some green something like this this kind of green a much darker green than this change your watercolor brush set another layer okay and let's have it over here okay let's make it have some kind of um, 3d kind of feel like it's coming out to you then use the water brush and just pull that color out like that and done so next let's, let's do something about here okay we're gonna switch that layer go back to that layer again for the stem for the stalk and then we're gonna add some orange or a light brown color maybe this will work okay switch again to the watercolor brush the opacity is about 80 I'm gonna zoom in so you can see just slightly paint like that brush if you can see I did it like a curve okay so that to show that it's rounded and here as well let's bring the color down and we can try it so now let's add a new layer we add the reflection so get your watercolor brush the second one we're going to choose white make sure opacity is set to about 75 70 and now because the light is pointing and um, directed in this direction so let's paint over here and paint over here and get your water brush just spread the color out okay and let it dry 
and then one more okay one more one more time I'm just gonna add some more white and get your water brush and let it dry so for this it looks okay but I think I want to darken the area over here so switch to your shadow layer okay and I'm gonna get the watercolor brush change the color to the dark green and this time I think I'm just gonna set the opacity to about 85 and now I'm going to paint over again on this side get your water brush paint out in a curvy manner and dry okay we are almost done get a new layer and drag this layer all the way to the bottom like that like this is the canvas the paper itself so now let's tap and choose the watercolor brush change the size opacity to about 75 and set the shadow okay let's set this color or maybe not let's set the color to this color the darkest brown just now i'm going to set the brush size to about 65 and let's paint like that I'm not adding a lot of pressure, I'm just, I'm just sliding this pen on the screen. Get your water brush and just oh, set the size bigger so that it can spread the water uh, in a much bigger s space. And just pull it, okay, and dry. I'm going to add some more, some more paint, the dark color paint over here. You can do the same by just tapping some more like that. And get the water brush and just pull it out like that. And we are done. And now just type just have another layer use the ink pen okay the Indian ink and I'm just going to pull it like that um, I think this settings are okay and I'm gonna write pair oh but you know I always like to do an ink splash right so let's have that ink splash change the color to green okay maybe a dark green like this set the opacity to about 60 brush size I think about here 20 I'm just gonna tap lightly like that to create a, a mess <laughs> so let's maybe a, a light green yellowish green and have it a mess like that okay we are, we are done I have another layer this time we're going to write the name so let's write the name set opacity to the highest set the size to about 17 and let's begin and we're done all right so i hope you like your painting of the pear and if you don't you can rerun this video and keep trying all right don't give up so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe by clicking on that subscribe button right there on this page and um, with that said i hope you have a good day and i'll see you in the next video